Hello, everyone. Today, I would like to show how you can use your existing QED functionality to process your non-shipment related invoices, create detailed debit credit memos, and even consolidate your account receivables. Core QD transactions that form account pay receivables are customer payments, sales invoices, and debit credit memos. Sales invoices in QED are generated automatically as a result of shipment. You can issue separate invoices for each shipment or consolidate them. Invoice printing and posting can be unusually automated. The whole shipment invoicing uh, process is well established and quite efficient. And when adjustments to customer balances are required, there is a debit credit memo function in QED. But as business grows and with it a number of transactions and invoices, you might find that debit credit memo function itself is not enough to accommodate various types of required adjustments. For example, there are very limited transaction details you can enter by using standard debit credit memo function. I want to bring to your attention your attention to another standard QD function that is often overlooked. The reason for this might be that it's more labor intensive in its vanilla form than you can afford. This function is pending invoice maintenance. I want to show you how easily you can create after the fact and non-shipment related invoices, calculate and process rebates, and even consolidate your accounts receivables. Here are a couple of scenarios. Shipments, First one is when shipments are not processed in the same QD database or domain where account receivables are stored. For example, shipment and invoicing are handled by a third party, but you collect customer payments. You will need a way to bring the shipment details and customer invoices as account receivables transactions into one account receivables database or domain and pending invoice maintenance function in QED, together with our customer invoice data loader, can help you with this. And in a moment, I will show you how. Um, another possible scenario where pending invoice maintenance is useful is um, when you might need to calculate customer rebates, uh, issue detailed itemized rebate invoices, and allocate rebate amounts to multiple accounts, sub-accounts, cost center, and projects. Um, this is where debit credit memo function in QED shows its limitations, but again, planning invoice maintenance can come to your rescue. Um, if you have multiple business entities and need to consolidate account receivables within one entity for better and more cost efficient and accounts uh, cost efficient account receivables management, again, planning invoice maintenance. Um, can solve, resolve the issue. Let me demonstrate how you can run those processes by using Excel interface for QED pending invoice maintenance. Excel interface to standard QED pending invoice maintenance function is provided by our data loaders. They allow you to spend minimal time on building detailed customer transactions and use your valuable time instead on more critical account receivables management tasks. I will show you two versions of customer invoice data loaders. One gives you more flexibility and is more closely resembles QED payment invoice maintenance function. And one is simplified version that creates posted memo invoices. Let's simulate a scenario when shipments are handled by a third party. They might also issue customer invoices or you might, you might need to issue them. A third party usually provides you with detailed shipment statement in electronic format that has information about items shipped, shipped to destination and customers. Uh, after receiving such shipment statement of, in electronic form, you can open customer invoice data loaders and click on the import button to import data from the third party into this Excel spreadsheet. Since import function is customized based on the third party file format, I don't have it in this generic version, but I have a sample data 
I can use instead of import file. So here is my data. I will put space. So if you receive just customer code, no information about build to, ship to, no item description, you don't know what um, ship via to use. So these are default QD. Uh, these are QED values that you need to enter when you create invoice in QED. You can use get defaults button and um, corresponding information will be populated from QED. So this is the way to fill up those gaps that you might have in the incoming third party file. And once you've prepared everything, uh, you can review the information received. Uh, if it's a large file, you'll probably won't have, um, won't spend much time on reviewing it. You rely on the information received. And but what you might also do, and I will do in my example, I will make sure that I'm loading all my uh, lines as memo type, um, so inventory balances are not affected and items that I received, they don't need to define to be defined in my QED database. So I'll prepare the data. Remember, it's a large uh, file that you can open into this Excel template, and then you can click on Upload, and the tool will validate information. So if there is any error found, it will highlight the error. But if not, then it will create pending invoice maintenance in QED. As I mentioned earlier, we have two version of customer invoice data loader. The one you currently see resembles pending invoice maintenance functionality. When data are uploaded, pending invoices are created as sales orders. You'll just need to print them to assign invoice numbers and then post them. And here I will do this. First, I will send set print post flag to yes. Okay, I'll do the upload. Load it successfully. Now I will print invoices. When I print the invoices, QD will assign invoice numbers to my pending invoice. This is a real invoice number. And once I have them, I can post them into general ledger. This is the output of the standard QD post function. And I can view posted invoices by clicking on um, view invoice button just to double check how it looks and make sure it's there, but it's there. I can also re-download it to see that all the information is there. I can use the same third party sample with my simplified customer invoice data loader just to show you the difference, the one that I started at the beginning. So here's my sample. I have customer information. You see, it looks slightly different because um, this one will automatically create all lines as mem. I don't need to worry about it and um, it, it has limited number of fields which simplifies uh, for me the data checking um, I, I can click on upload again need to select correct database and now when load is happening if there's no any errors then unlike in the previous sample when cell solar gets created first then you need to print post it this simplified data loader will immediately create posted invoices. So I see invoice number here. I don't need to print post it. I can go and check uh, accounts receivable for this bill too. And I will see that here is my invoice already sitting in the accounts receivables. So this one is um, could be uh, easier or fit more for your specific business process. But again, it has limited capabilities, doesn't have all the functionality pending invoice maintenance in QED uh, has. So if that's the case, you can use another version that has 
to make two extra steps, print and post, but give you more freedom and you create not only memo, but also the regular um, transaction that uh, will affect or adjust your inventory balances. So that was one example, how you can process third-party invoices, um, upload third-party shipment information into QED and turn it into accounts receivables. Another example is what if you need to calculate customer rebates. You can easily do this with uh, these loaders, for example, you can download all shipments made to this customer or posted invoices to this customer. Let me do this. I can specify customer number and I can download posted invoices. I can select the database because I have a couple of them connected at the same time. And here's the list of my uh, shipments to that customer. I can, just for simplicity, I can pick one. For example, so this is my shipment. I'll delete the rest. And uh, let's say my rebate will be roughly 2% of the um, sold shipped quantity. So I have, I can temporarily insert the, because it's an Excel, right? So I can put the formula here, calculate the uh, sales amount, net price multiplied by quantity and I want to uh, put 2% of it, right? So I can copy the formula. So this is my rebate amounts that I um, need to post into QD. I need to create rebate invoice. So I can copy that amount into the list price. Oh, sorry. Copy value will delete the columns where I did the calculations. And here I will put my invoice quantity to one to make sure that I will load it as memo because it's just an adjustments to my accounts receivable, not an actual inventory transaction. Again, I will put here a date, but um, what's important, I have all the item information here. Again, I can accumulate it and uh, process like the whole in rebate invoice is a couple of lines or I can put the detailed rebates per item and I can um, allocate it to different cost centers. So I can, um, for example, I know that this item is, I will go to this cost center, I can change to what cost center the rebate for other item goes, I will leave it as is for now and we'll review the data for the uh, effective date 0315 just to distinguish it from the rest of the invoices. We'll review again. I will click on upload. Now it looks like everything is correct and I have cell solder generated. I can again print post it which is very quick. Just select print post. I will do print. Invoice number has been assigned and I will do post. I can do exactly the same process through the simplified version. And instead of creating cells so that it will directly create invoice. Or let's say this customer starting from 2018 can do so. And then I here I see the amount, so it's easier for me to perform the calculations. I can pick the invoices that requires rebates to be issued and can process rebate invoice into QED. Again, the same tool can be used if you need to consolidate your accounts receivables. Uh, Let's say that you have um, multiple entities that um, issue invoice, uh, generate 
do the shipments, generate customers' invoices, but you need to handle your accounts receivables in one central entity to make the process uh, efficient. And so what you can do, you can just use any of the tools, but probably uh, 731 memo, customers invoice maintenance memo uh, version of the template will be more suitable for this case because it will create uh, memo line, memo invoices by default. You can select the database you need to get your accounts receivables from. Let's say you specify the uh, date range. You need to bring all the invoices from another database or domain for January. We'll put the date range, we'll clear customer code, we'll select here different database, download, and then I'll just need to switch domain or switch database. And then I will click upload to upload them into my consolidated accounts receivable database. And if I'll do so, because I, I won't do this because download the data from the same database. I, If I would download them from different database, upload it into my accounts receivables database, then by clicking on your accounts receivable, I would see them all here in one database under one consolidated customer account. Our 32 soft data loaded can be tailored to your specific business process and make it smooth and effortless. If you're interested in finding out more about it or whether you want what you've learned today can be helpful in your particular situation, we will be happy to look into details with you.